Bueno, amigos, familia, eh, tengo en el Facebook conectados a Juan Valencia, Ángeles Durante, Fernando Torres. Fernando Torres, quien es el director de la Casa de Venezuela, nos ha estado haciendo varios comentarios. Él aplaude que Danilo está llamando a nuestra comunidad a votar. Eh, y también pues ha aplaudido el hecho de que hemos hablado del... Eh, siempre se me olvida... El, 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 bueno, de todo, todo el racismo que nos, que nos viene ahorita mismo de, del gobierno. Um, I was talking about a question that Ancestor has in, in his book. And as a matter of fact, I want to remind you guys that uh, Howard is a poet. Uh, he came out with a book. Um, do you have already the second one on? In the book. Nice. Uh, so, Howard, can you please show your book? And at least we can see it on, on, on Facebook. Uh, Sergio, a poet, witnesses to the city. Um, so Sergio has, um, he's a poet, he's a writer. And we have also the book of um, Ancestor, Spirituality, Speaking, Ancestor Gold Sky. And he has wonderful questions there. I, I use the question to invite to the show. And um, Ancestor says the other day that he created this book to um, start conversations with people. It's a way to, to uh, and I think it's a way to create community, no matter color, religion, whatever it is. So I'm going to ask the question: Do we need love and pay and peace, or the truth? What do you think, ancestor? I'd rather have truth. I don't want love, because <laughs> as a black race, I don't think we have ever sought that. Why is that? In ancestor? our homes, our business, because of racism. Racism have affected black people, speech, health, education, you name it. Um, everything we do is of another race of people. So if I understand you well, it is like you want to have an open conversation, just say the truth, and probably we can uh, heal from that truth, and then we can talk about love and peace. Is something like that, or I'm um, misunderstanding? <laughs> The word freedom to me means you are to go back the way you were before somebody oppressed you. Well, blacks have not. We haven't had a chance from the Jim Crow. We haven't had a chance to be African people with our own language, our own clothes, our own character. We have not had a chance to do that. Every time we tried to do that in the 60s and the 70s, the system, no, we want you to be that other type of person. We want you to be under us. We don't want you to be independent. So, no, I want truth. Because if that's love, you want to keep oppressing me and not allowing my race to be who we are. You know, we can't even worship like we want to. Hmm. Before we was occupied, we were into either the almighty deities or our ancestors. Now we're not. I say eight out of ten blacks would not tell you they deal with their ancestors spiritually. They would say, and not that many deal with um, their deities, not unless you went to Santeria, Yoruba, Makumba, any of that. Other than that, your average black person, Jesus, that's it. No ancestors, not even the creator. They don't believe in creator. They say Jesus is their creator. So. We haven't been free yet. They need to leave us alone in our soul. Stop telling us to be tolerant. They sit Matthew 6.15 on us real quick, which says forgive. But do you forgive the other people? No. So, no. I don't want your love. No. I don't want your love and your peace. I want truth. Danilo, what about you? Bueno, la verdad, solo, duele solamente una vez. Um, truth is, is desperately needed in our communities. Um, I don't know about the entire universe, but at least in North Philadelphia, we need it. Um, we keep telling each other that it's, it'll get better, it'll get better, but we're not doing much. And um, like one, one of our guests here said uh, earlier, um, there's the help is, has to come from within. We need to take care of ourselves and, and start believing in one another and, and believing in our families. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Anita. Howard, what do you think? 
I'm a poet, so I'm gonna live in poet. peace. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's how I live. <laughs> you know, you have a you have a. Do you think the through is necessary? Do you think do you think we have to open up and talk freely and frank about these issues, or we just have to say, okay, you know what, you know what, guys, let's stop and let's love each other and, and build peace. Well, let's let's define love, right? <laughs> Let's go find it. Thank you. Um, yeah, first, people, work, people, people, people uh -huh. will say, you know, people will say there's self-love, there's, there's communal love, there's familial love, there's all those things, right? And for me, I'll just talk about it. It comes from the spirituality first, mm -hmm. and then it moves on. Folks may disagree about religion or disagree about where the spirit comes from, but each individual has that. That's what I would do. And the love that they have for themselves and whoever their deity is, that walk and talk cannot be denied. You know someone very much from the onset when you meet them and you feel it, that energy that they have, and wherever that comes from, you know exactly what that is. And so for me, that love is the first thing. The second thing is you, have, you can love others, but you have to learn to love. We, when we're children, right? When we're children, we we're, know we're how to do it. well, no, we don't know how to share. We're taught how to share. You understand? But we, but have, but we, we don't children. know how to hate. No, no, we don't know how to hate, but we don't know how to share. That's which, true. which is the beginning okay. of jealousy and hate and all the other things. Like when you have a cookie and somebody else has a cookie and you want to take their cookie, right? And you have to say, no, 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 you're supposed to share. Why do we have to do that? I think it's because we don't get out of that childish ways that we have sometimes and really become a mature human being, which says that I have enough and I can let it go because I'll get another. And I think that when we really talk about love, love is being strong enough to say, I have enough and I can give it away, as opposed to I need more, I need more, I need more, and I need more. I don't well, how do you How it's do you strength. define enough? Enough is, being able to, enough is being able to say that I'm satisfied with who I am and what I am, and then I have enough strength. I think love is strength to say that I can do something for someone else. Especially Not, with what, who we I, are. Right. I don't, it is, if I gave, if I gave ten dollars right now to ancestor, right? I don't have ten dollars in my pocket. But if I gave ten dollars to ancestor right now and let him walk away for for no other reason than I like what he said, right? The strength of me in letting that ten dollars go, I'm going to get another ten dollars. I know in the back of my mind, but right there and then to share that takes. Well, probably strength. you don't need more. Ten dollars more. Exactly. Right. Enough. I mean, but if I'm just thinking self, self love. Well, I got my ten dollars. I need to get some coffee after. This. And the reason <laughs> why I'm asking you about enough, it is because I see that there is a hunger for for power, for money, for you know. And and when I see all these white supremacists, I ask myself, but what else do they want? If they they have everything. They're scared. So. They're scared. Okay. They're scared. And greed. And scared. And greedy and scared. And they know that they are going to be the minority in this country. And very scared about that. But see that minority, like you, like like we are, Latinos, African Americans, we are not doing, as Danilo says, we are not doing what we have to. Do. Because mm -hmm. if we come together, mm -hmm. and if we vote, if we really show that we are strong, we are going to be stronger than the minority, white minority. But we shouldn't. But we shouldn't be acting like they are acting. So, and that's what they're afraid of. They're afraid of that if we have really with authority, we'll do exactly what they're doing. What they are doing. doing. And they're afraid that that will be the we end repeat. of themselves as a people. So, forth. so we're going to fight against that. We saw this in South Africa. Come on, we saw this in South Africa, and we saw that apartheid was put up in order to make sure that the minority was in control. Another wall. And eventually, that came down. That came down. And then you say, okay, now the majority is in charge. Did it change the economics of everything? No. Did it what? change? Eighty percent of South Africans still live the same way, right. under a black, you know, president. So I wanted to say I don't think they're scared because they have enough brainwashed, brown-skinned people to protect them. What are they afraid of? Wow. They they have made enough sambos to protect them. You know what I'm talking about. Talking. So why would they be afraid? They're not afraid. They got enough brown skinned people who would love some money and a paycheck, right or wrong. 
That's not what the truth. I have the feeling that it's a lot of ignorance <laughs> there. I mean, like, the a, like a human beings, we we haven't been able to really accept the others because we don't like somebody different to me, and that is just ignorance. What is the root meaning of the word love? I looked it up, it says desire. Well, I desire not to be profiled when I go in the store. I desire not to be stared at because of my skin color. I told you why I cut my locks. I desire I truth. Yeah. So that's why I don't want your love. Why don't you, why don't you cut your locks? Oh, that's Very a interesting. Yeah. still the story. Well, I, Come on. Yeah. Okay. Um, people kept talking about my locks and not listening to what I'm saying out my mouth. And when I look on TV and see all these brown skin guys, who y'all call black African Americans, criminals, robbing, home invasion, I did not want to be associated with that because locks to me was an African thing. My hair was locked in place. I'm proud of it being locked in place. I'm not looking at my hair as dreads. They say dread. That means awful. I tell a lot of people, don't call that style dreads. It's locks. I was just proud of my locks and how I walked. And people said, wow, brother, you walk real proud with your Yes, because I was proud. My hair was locked in place. So when I see these other people now with the same skin color, it's a fad. And so I cut mine off. Do you think that was a little bit of surrounded as an as, as, as as African-American guy? Uh, all I know is I felt proud wearing my locks. Oh. Yeah. Wear your locks, man. Yeah. Wear your locks. Who cares? It's all right. Wear your locks. <laughs> I'm making a statement, though. Which is? Guys, because you have brown skin and you have locks don't mean you are conscious. Mm. I look for that. So I want the truth. If you're going to wear that hairstyle, be about Africa. True. Be about your people. True. That's all I'm saying. Don't wear it because girlfriends say, oh, I like that long hair. Well, that is the truth, too, now. You know that. <laughs> Give me the truth. You know that's the truth, too. <laughs> Let me do it, my Your sister said they like it. You better try it, right? You know she better truth. look good. <laughs> <laughs> Let me to remind you guys um, que estamos en Para Ti Mujer con Emma Restrepo y tengo el placer y el honor de estar con Danilo Burgos eh, de alguna manera representándonos aquí a los eh, latinos, eh, de alguna manera no, representando a los latinos. Estoy con eh, Ancestor eh, Gold Sky, quien eh, es además eh, African American y él está... Eh, Hablando desde su, desde su bellísimo alma, él es, un, eh, él es como un asesor espiritual, pero además de eso y más que eso, es eh, músico y es eh, además profesor. Y también tengo el gran honor de tener a Howard Tucker, quien es eh, educador y es el CEO de la organización eh, eh, Vision for Edu, eh, que además ha trabajado muchísimo en la ciudad. Eh, I can I think we, we always, when we are talking about a difficult issue, we should uh, look for solutions. We should look for, because we can't just uh, complain about everything and just leave it in that way. So yeah. I think we, we need to really look together for solutions. And, and I was making notes uh, when Howard was talking and the rest of you guys, when you were talking, and you were talking about being proactive, go back to local, um, start building a stronger sense of community and, and Danilo was saying please vote you know, let's, let's participate in democracy even though um, as Howard said we don't believe in democracy youth they just can't be yeah, themselves yeah let me no. qualify that mm -hmm. it's not to believe in democracy but young people young people um, are interested in making money and taking care of themselves <laughs> not see and not see where democracy will really yeah, help no them, room. really help them. Uh -huh. And that comes from holding people accountable. Like it's two pieces to this. Mm -hmm. We have to hold public officials accountable for what they say and what they're supposed to do. And then on the other side, we have to participate. Right now, everything is being, the debate is on Facebook, the debate's here, the debate's like out there, and then folks get really mad and they go and they, and they protest, right? But who's making the policies to help people move the law? We had the Affordable Health Care Act. It's under um, the 
it's under whatever revisions or whatever they're trying to do to it. When I go to Washington, I see a lot of people protesting against, this was before, this was when mm -hmm. Obama was in office, I saw people protesting against the Affordable Health Care Act, going in with signs and so forth. Where were the pro people? Where were the people saying, I need this, I need this, this is helpful, I'm a small business owner, I need that. When it was on the block and they were about to chop it, then everybody jumped up like, ah! Now, no, you need to be all the time, all the time, not just when there's a crisis. And as a matter of fact, you were saying that one of the positive things mm -hmm. about this um, politic environment mm -hmm. it is that people are coming out and, and protesting and you know and becoming much more aware they're reading more they're speaking out more because now they see that it's going to hit them this is not going to hit somebody else it's yeah, not it's anymore in this Washington. is not in Washington it's I in may block. not have health care this is important to me and if I don't my own well-being that's the, where it starts but then from there how do you take that and make it into we, not just we, we, and then what do we need? How so you will say that is that is part of the solution? That That's is part, part of the solution. The solution. Okay. Um, the and the the what about system. telling people to uh, take care of themselves and eat better? I mean, uh, it's not up to the system to uh, take care of our health. It's not a communist country where health care is free. I don't know why Americans think that's part of your constitution. This is a capitalist opportunist country. You know, why don't we teach each other how to eat better so you don't get sick? What's wrong with that? Mm -hmm. It's like we say, okay, I can eat like two tons of pretzels and potato chips, and if I get sick, you better take care of me. I don't understand that. Take that's care of point. yourself. Yeah, teach that's your. Not the point. That's not the point. The point is if you have um, colon cancer, all right? Yes. And you need to go to the doctor and you don't have health care, you're going to die, period. That has nothing about, there's, there's other diseases besides health and well-being. There are things like asthma, there are things that children have, there's all those types of things yes. that they're not mm -hmm. being covered by. And it's not free. You ask anybody that's in, um, in the health care system, it's not free. You what don't get a free ride, you have to pay something in. But what do you think, um, Ancestor, what do you think of how to... If we can say that we, we can fix this racism problem, mm -hmm. this division uh, among others, I mean, we mm -hmm. are divided for everything. Mm -hmm. Money, color, religion. Mm -hmm. How to fix that? What Just stop think? telling lies. Uh, every, every when we have a white Santa Claus, <laughs> we have a white East, even the Doracell bunny, pink and white. I mean, come on, everything is white. Let's deal with that. In a so-called diverse country, so every you say embrace the diversity. Really. If you're gonna uh, take these holidays and make them so Important. sacred, well, make Jesus Japanese one year, Puerto Rican one year, Panamanian. See, no, he's always white. Everything is white. So, how can you fix a country that idolizes that image on all the holidays? I mean, even for Black History Month. They took our money away. I think every day of February is some type of European day. President's Day, George Washington's Day, Groundhog Day, uh, well, Valentine's Day. Yeah, you, I mean, my God, you don't like what happened to black history? Okay. See? So how can you fix a problem? But I got to say, why don't we eat better? I don't understand that. If you know sugar going to tear you up, if you know this going to tear you up, common sense say don't eat it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put all that weight on some doctor. He didn't go to school and spend his yeah, money I to take. Yeah, I understand you in the sense that you are saying let's take care of ourselves. Yes, so don't, come don't on. Don't for, for others. Yes. Which which is similar what um, Howard said. He says sense of uh, community. You know, uh, being proactive. So that I think that is similar. Uh, Danilo, what do you think about how to fix this racism? How to get together for common goals? Well, the most viable thing is how how do I fix my block? I mean that that's to me that that's that is how uh, we it's, you start from the ground up. Um, the universe will, will turn every which way, uh, but better. You are a product of your, you're, you're a product of your, of your elements, so where, where you live and, and where you, where you buy, 
uh, Howard said it earlier. I mean, we, we need to support our own businesses uh, locally instead of going to Philadelphia Mills, spend money on Germantown Avenue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but most importantly, to say hello to one another every morning. Um, yeah, when, you, when, you, when you wake up and go out your door, just don't walk by your neighbor. And, and those, those little steps will start changing racism because it'll, it'll help your universe, it'll help your, your block. Yeah, to say, to say you mean something for me. And get, in, get involved within your community. Uh, Let me, I'm going to go very fast in Spanish with Danilo because I know Danilo is going to run for the district 147 district. Um, I don't, I don't know that for sure yet. <laughs> Come on, um, Danilo. But I, but I am involved. <laughs> so you are involved, and um, Danilo, um, yeah, he has been very, very, very nice. <laughs> Danilo, de, de, de tú decidir correr por el distrito 147, eh, ¿cuál es, cuál es lo más importante que tú crees que debemos hacer en ese distrito? Sería el 197 y lo más importante. Uh, lo más importante en, en esa área que compone uh, Hunting Park, Beltonville, uh, Norris Square uh, y parte de, de, de la 15 y, y Lehigh es que es la educación, que es la área que más ha sido afectada con la escuela pública cerrada uh -huh. eh, y también la seguridad. El, la, el departamento de policía debe de hacer más para proteger nuestros vecinos. ¿Qué tal empleo, Daniel? Lo empleo también, te, eh, y eso es. La educación no te ayuda el empleo, porque inmediatamente usted tiene una población educada, eh, tiene más acceso a mejor claro, trabajo. Claro. O las fábricas pueden ir a Norfolk y pueden tener muchachos educados. Tenemos que, que buscarla y traerla. Y ahora claro. mismo hay que enfocarse en, en, en cuáles van a ser los trabajos del futuro. Claro. Los trabajos del, trabajo del futuro en los cuales nuestras escuelas no, no están preparando a nuestros jóvenes para eso. Es en, en, en ingeniería de computadora y, y, y la, 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 la ciencia, en ciencias médicas. Pues Danilo, yo te deseo muchísima suerte. Me gustaría que te lanzaras para el Distrito 197. Más adelante veremos qué, qué, qué trae el río. Muy bien. I'm going to ask a last question. Uh, if you guys want to add something, we have just one minute and saying goodbye and thank you, thank you very much for being here. I'm going to start with Ancestor. Ancestor, go ahead. Get the truth. That's all I can say. Want truth. Thank you. Um, I like what Amelia just said, which is be kind to each other. Uh, one of the things I enjoy when I travel, whether it's Panama or Brazil, you've got Buenos Dias, you've got Buenos Aires, you have Bogia. How you start the conversation is how that conversation is going to go. You have so all we, that. Yeah, so and, you know, we want the truth, but we also want to have that self love that we can give to others. So that Bogia. That starts the conversation. Be kind, right? Be kind. See, see the soul. Yes. Don't, don't see the religion or the skin or the whatever. Lots or no lots. Yeah. Just look, look, <laughs> look at the eyes of the person. Don't look anything else. Danilo, last word. I thought I said my last word, but no. Some words of many words. <laughs> um, no, it's. it's eh, debemos como comunidad, sea afroamericana o, o hispana, eh, respetar uno al otro y más importante de, de apoyarnos y, y envolvernos en nuestras comunidades, ya sea en el sur de Filadelfia o en el norte, quiera que estemos, eh, el hispano se ha destacado en, el, en, esta, en, en los Estados Unidos por su trabajo, por su esfuerzo y debemos resaltarlo aquí en Filadelfia. Amigas, eh, amigos y familia latina, quiero agradecerles a todos, muy especialmente a Howard Tucker, a Ancestor Gold Sky, a Danilo Burgos. Quiero además decirles que el, los programas de septiembre van a estar todos pregrabados, sin embargo, van a estar todos los videos eh, accesibles para ustedes en la página de Facebook de Para Ti Mujer con Emma Restrepo. Eh, la razón es porque me voy a visitar a mi linda tierra y volveré aquí para, para seguir trabajando por la comunidad y para seguir ayudando en la manera que más pueda. En la página de Facebook están todas las bio de las grandes, hermosas personas que estuvieron aquí. Gracias a Ángeles Durante por ayudarme a hacer el video, gracias a Antonio Cáncer por toda la parte de diseño. Chicas, una feliz, feliz semana y septiembre será el maratón de Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Bye, bye.